This ambulance goes out at 7 a.m. sharp daily to transport something very important. It is to bring back the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine for COVID-19 for Sunway Medical Center, which has been designated as one of the vaccination centers for the Pataling district. Pharmacy manager at Sunway Medical Center, Chin Aileen, has been overseeing the vaccine transportation since March 10th. She explained the vaccine trail when the delivery first touched down in Malaysia. The vaccine stocks, when arrived from Belgium, will be shipped out to the main hospitals, uh, which are called PSV, Pusat Simpanan Vaccines, where they are stored under uh, freezing conditions of negative 70 degrees Celsius. After that, they will be uh, distributed to the PPV, Pusat Pemberian Vaccine, which is the clinic kesihatan, where we, as the ZPVs, Zone Pemberian Vaccine, will collect from the PPVs to conduct our outreach vaccination program at our site. Chin said to make sure the vaccine is in constant low temperature, it is transported using cold chain, which is a temperature control supply chain that keeps the vaccine in optimum condition and safe for the public. So in preparation, we have to ensure that our cold chain for the product is maintained throughout our entire journey. With that, we actually have uh, our cold box which we have to prepare in advance to ensure it is within the 2 to 8 degrees Celsius when it arrives to our PPV so that they can transfer the vaccine in. Chin and another colleague follow the ambulance each morning to transfer the vaccine. It usually takes the team only 10 to 15 minutes from the Sunway Medical Center to the Puchong Clinic each way. At the clinic, there are stringent controls before the handoff to the team. Because of the COVID vaccination being so limited in Malaysia at the moment, records are also very detailed. They ensure that every single vial that they dispense out is accounted for. And uh, as pharmacists, we have to sign off on all the documentation to ensure that we have uh, everything in place. One vial of Pfizer's COVID vaccine contains six doses. The vaccine will remain stable for five days after it is thawed. That's when the team would collect it and return to the centre for reconstitution. Reconstitution is a process of diluting the vaccine with saline before it's ready to be administered. Serin Lim, who is in charge of the nurses administering the vaccine, explained how delicate the vaccine prepping process is. The nurse will need to verify the medication is do not have any sentiment, is clear and is not expired. So after that, the nurse will actually need to put in 1.8 mils of a normal saline to dilute the medication and to ensure when we syringe out the needle, do not have any vaccine that is with the syringe to go to the bin. And every single one of them will actually aspirate out is only 0.3 mils. With that, we actually need to have two nurses to really look at the line. It's really because the needle is really fine. Because with that, we, we uh, Every single drug wastage, that will be a waste of the dose, and the patient will have lesser. I mean, we have lesser patient to have the dose. Nurses have to go through stringent training under the health ministry to qualify to administer the vaccine. With high emphasis on zero vaccine wastage, the nurses hit their target each day, despite the heavy responsibility upon their shoulders. We have given a lot of pressure that is saying that uh, zero wastage, zero wastage, zero wastage. So the, the stress is there. But one more thing that we need to think is, if without us, who is going to do this job? So we will need to just be calm and just dilute it slowly and cool and calm, we will get it right. So yesterday we have done 216 doses. We, we, we really successfully do it without any wastage. Lim gave assurance of the way the nurses are handling the vaccine. So the vaccine is really kept in a very good cold chain and all of our nurses is well trained to do the dilution and also give the injection. I believe this is really safe for everyone to come over to take the vaccine. Malaysia is currently in the first phase of national vaccination program with priority given to frontliners, especially in the healthcare sector. The public is expected to start receiving their vaccination in April in the second phase of the vaccine rollout.